Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this thrilling Thursday here in Connecticut. I just got in from a bike ride, man. My first bike ride in the spring, and I can't begin to tell you how great that feels. Ah, <laughs> man. It's 60 degrees out there. It is just gorgeous. I have done some kettlebells. I haven't touched the trumpet yet because I, I just had to do my thing, man. It, just, it was just calling my name. Anyway, <laughs> you saw the thumbnail. So Maurice Level Chops in Germany. Oh, man. This guy can play. Anyway, let me see what we got. No warm-up, and uh, we'll get to it. We'll talk about it. Double C's, Arbin, and a bike ride. Does it get any better than this? Does it get any better than this? I'm very easy to please. <laughs> anyway, carrot, uh, cucumber, and celery. Anyway, here's the deal. Um, this gentleman has been sending me videos off and on for you know, a couple years. And again, guys, I can't tell you enough. Just that I offered, he's not taking lessons, just a little, you know, 45 seconds here, a minute and a half there, whatever. Okay? And they knew he had, I knew he had good jobs, I could tell. I could absolutely tell. But anyway, as it turns out, he is a professional trumpet player in Germany with uh, an orchestra. And he decided at best troll-wise and all that sort of stuff that he, I did not use his name, and I'm very, very cool with that. No problem whatsoever, okay? Now, Jerry used to wax nostalgic all the time. I mean, I, as long as I've known him, knew him, he was going over to Germany quite consistently to do clinics. And he said, musically speaking, now again, this was a while ago, I'm sure things have changed here. The economy's all okay. I'm sure it's not the same. But he said, musically speaking, if he was to pick one country, and he traveled quite a bit, Japan, da -da, anyway, pick one country to be a trumpet player, it would be Germany. Okay? Now, again, this was a while ago. So whether it's the same now after COVID and all that sort of stuff, I don't know. But, you know, we've all heard of Berlin, the Berlin Philharmonic and whatnot, and how great that is. And, but he says many of the cities, large or small, towns, whatever, all have their symphony orchestra that at that time, at least, was sponsored by the government. I sort of uh, uh, put it together as comparing it to the military bands of today, the concert bands and jazz bands and whatnot in this country. Okay? But it was a good gig. It was a good gig. You were set for life. No worries. You're just playing with a great orchestra, and life's good. Life's good. So anyway, this gentleman is playing with one of the orchestras. And I'm going to say about a year ago now, he con contacted me and uh, showed me some double Cs. Okay? At the time, I believe... Uh, I suggested the 1SB, which he got. I'm not sure how much he's using it or whatever. Uh, and I think I remember thinking that the the, um, the uh, double C is a little pinched, and I didn't quite like like the pop. Okay? So, you know, gave him suggestions about uh, the tongue and all that sort of stuff. I hadn't heard from him. Okay? Uh, about 10 days ago, two weeks, 
he sends me a video and he says, how is this for the spit buzz? And I'm telling you guys, it was the most remarkable spit buzz I've seen since Jerry passed away. And I mean that. He went right up to a double C, held on to it, not straining, centered, pure. It was a beautiful spit buzz. The only thing that I couldn't quite make an evaluation is it was just one rip right up. There was no articulations. And as you know, I got to hear the pop. Okay? So, I said, send me another one with some spit buzzing articulations and a little trumpet to it. It can be arm, it can be anything. Okay? So, he did just that. It was just yesterday, I believe, I got it. And sure enough, he starts with, like we talked a lot, I've done videos about this. Starts with the tongue literally through the, through the lips. And it goes, it recedes as, you know, the, the articulation. I don't, and he's not doing, the tongue literally through both lips uh, while you're playing. But it does recede, but it does start there. A la James Morrison, a la Bill Chase, we've talked about that. Um... So anyway, um, spit buzzing all over the place. Sound popping like you wouldn't believe. And then he played some Arbin. Okay? Pop, 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 and right up to the double C. Okay? Now, I'm telling you guys, we talked about this. The void at the top. And I don't know what his technique is. I don't know what his musicality is. Again, I barely know the guy. And I'm not taking credit for his chops. He says he loves the video. He's been watching for a couple years. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm not saying he's my student or anything like that. But the chops, man, are right. Uh, I think one of his videos, he, um, he played some things up to a double C, believe it or not, on a rotary valve trumpet. He sounded fabulous. He sounded fabulous. And again... I've never heard him play. I've never heard him play. Uh, I can guarantee you, he can play a monster. A monster Brandenburg. His double C's were that solid on a B-flat trumpet, just holding on to him, no strain whatsoever. He's spit buzzing double C's. Again, and I haven't heard a spit buzz like that since Jerry passed away. Dave Steinmeier's another, that's absolutely much better than mine. Much better spit buzz than mine. I might have more sound in the middle register, but I can't, I can't spit buzz the double C. Never could. Never once got a double C out. I'm pretty consistent with the F and the G above high C. Okay? So, to spit buzz the double C, as easily as that, I know, you guys, I know he's got a note or two above that. Okay? Which is neither here nor there. Okay? But guys, these are Andre Chops. These are absolutely 100% Andre Chops. Now, we all know that Andre was a whole lot more than just a double C machine. He had those chops. There's no question about it. Stone cold screamer. That's what Murray, but there was more to it than that. Just, you know, the articulation, the phrasing, the, the beauty of sound and all that. Now, I don't know if this guy has that, but he has the chops. Now, at his age, I believe he said he was 51. I'm not sure if I would want to give up his secure lifestyle and all that sort of stuff to do a globetrotting Maurice thing anyway. But, and I told him he had Maurice level chops and uh, very humble, didn't feel like he had it. But um, anyway, that is that. Guys, listen to me. It can be done. It's a physical thing, and the little bit that I saw on his video and all that said he didn't look like a big guy. It didn't look like he was, you know, anything out of the ordinary, his physiology. Guys, it just plain can be done. And if you want that life, and it's not easy, it can be done. Get yourself a 1SB, guys. I can get you the chops. I can get you the chops. The rest is up to you. But anyway, that's that. So, sir, you know who you are. I will uh, let you know when this video is up.
but you were an inspiration. I was very, very impressed with the chops and the pop and the whole nine yards, the lack of strain. Just a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Keep up what you're doing. And keep the whole Maurice thing in my in mind in mind. You know what I gotta do? I was thinking in Germany, and I have to ask you email. Gunter Betz. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Another German trumpet player that Jerry loved back in the day, and I've lost track of him. There's not a whole lot going on on the internet about him, and I have to do a video about him. So uh, you know who you are if you know anything about him. If you'd email me back and give me a little uh, info for a future video on Gunther Betz. Am I pronouncing it right? Doesn't matter. Anyway, eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Needless to say, my jaw is much better. Thanks for all your kind words and all that sort of stuff. Much better. Anyway, we're back to it. Riding a bike, playing double C's. Life's good, baby. Love you all.